What's up everybody, Nook is back here for a bit of a DVD and Blu-ray update. I did a bit of hunting. I did do a bit of hunting. What I'm not showing you is the Dollar Tree haul. That has its own video. So, this is everything that I've gotten over the past week, week and a half. This is from the video game store, and you just saw one of the titles. This is from the Half Price Books clearance section. I don't go to Half Price Books very often. I saw Blu-rays, I saw a bunch of good deals, and I've and I've seen four out of the five of these movies, and I look forward to watching two of them very, very soon. So we're going to start off with the two DVDs, because you guys want to see the Blu-rays, so we're going to go through these very, very quickly. First up is Howard the Duck. As you can tell, this has a Black Friday uh, sticker on it from Walmart a couple years ago, when they used to do green, which was $1.96. I hope they go back to doing that. I don't see it happening, though. Uh, so Howard the Duck Special Edition, never seen that film. Looking forward to checking out at some point. Next up is Jaws. I don't own Jaws, and I've never seen Jaws. Why did I get this? Well, I saw this there, and I'm like, well, I got store credit. I'm, I'm going to get it for pretty much free. And it looks like it comes with a lanyard. Th there was no lanyard in here. That's perfectly fine. But I got it because it was brand new factory sealed. Me and the owner of the video game store were talking, and he basically goes, hey... The lanyard isn't in there, and I looked at him, and I said, if the lanyard was in there, you would have taken it gladly. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> so, we, we were both th thinking the same thing, but I still got the film. I will probably watch that once we get to summer next year. Maybe I'll start off with Jaws next year. I don't know. But first, first, and lastly, we're going to go into the six Blu-rays. All of these were four bucks a piece. And we're going to start off. With Forever My Girl. Forever My Girl is a film that is a Hallmarkish Christmas film. Hallmarkish Christmas. I, I, I've talked a lot about Hallmark Christmas. So, Hallmark uh, style romance film, all about this country singer unnamed Liam Page, and he he left his bride Josie at the altar. Who in this film is played by the fantastic Jessica Roth. Love her. Cannot wait to see her do more films in the future. Love her films uh, and, and her as a person. He left her at the altar to chase fame and fortune. So she, so he comes back to the hometown where he left her and finds out that he has a daughter. And they start to fall in love all over again. Is he going to leave one more time or is this going to last forever? Very decent film. I saw that in theaters. Uh, I I had people who were very upset at this guy. They they were completely vocal in this film, and it is great that that they were. I look ba back on that now when I was annoyed because I am in a movie theater. I want I want it to be quiet unless it's something like Avengers Endgame or or unless it's something like what Spider Man Homecoming, Homecoming. Uh, what's Spider-Man no, no Way Home is going to be. Like what a Star Wars film. Like Star Wars The Last Jedi. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Justice League was. Next up is The Misfits. The Misfits is the last film. The last on-screen roles for Clark Gable and Marilyn Monroe. It was $4. Can you, can you see that? $4. Uh, marked down from whatever it was. $4. They did have a couple Marilyn Monroe ones there, but some of them were on clearance, some of them weren't. Uh, the the only the other one I saw was Bus Stop. It had it in the clearance section. It didn't have a sticker on it. It had the normal sticker on it, so I don't know if it was on clearance or not. Next up is A Fish Called Wanda. People love A Fish Called Wanda, and I cannot wait to watch this very, very soon. This is going right into the watch pile once we get past Christmas, because I will be watching... Almost all Christmas over the next couple of weeks. Next up is an upgrade. Guns Akimbo. I love this movie. This movie is so good. I'm keeping my DVD though. Uh, kind of wish I had the slipcover, but I, I really don't care. Guns Akimbo with Daniel Radcliffe and Samara Weaving is one of the most fun films from last year. A very fun action comedy that goes over the top and wacky for $4 on clearance on Blu-ray. Why not? Next up are two Disney Blu-rays. Next up for $4 is The Lion King 1.5. I grew up 
watching this film on VHS. What was that? Look before the hyenas come. Dig, dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Ooh. What was that? Look before the hyenas. Oh, anyways, uh, The Lion King, one and a half. Four dollars on Blu-ray, was not passing on this. Very decent film, and it does come with a little uh, thing here for joining the Disney Movie Club, which I am a part of, which is very funny because this is a Disney Movie Club exclusive up next. Uh, I, I, I've not checked the DVD to see if it's in good, good condition, but they're pretty picky with what they take in most of the time now. And the Blu-ray is uh, good. So Lion King, one and a half. Definitely like this film a lot. One of my favorite all-time animated films, the limited release of the Disney Movie Club exclusive of 101 Dalmatians. This is one that I don't know if the digital code is still good. I don't know if the points are still good. I will be using it, though. Uh, if it is, 101 Dalmatians. Love this film to death. And I do love the animated uh, sequel, Scraps London Adventure. Uh, no. No. Patches London Adventure? Did I just get the sequels to 101 Dalmatians and Lady and the Tramp Confused? I think I did. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if Disney Movie Club is actually going to do what I want them to do and put 101 Dalmatians and 102 Dalmatians out on Blu-ray with Glenn Close. I think you should have done that and did a little bundle with all of the films on Blu-ray. Do like a five-film set on Blu-ray for Disney Movie Club exclusive or just put the other two films out along with the Emma Stone Cruella. I mean, you did it with Cruella and the animated 101 Dalmatians. Why not the live action films? There's everything, guys. Here is the haul. I spent nothing on these two. I got these completely free with store credit, and then I spent uh, about 24 with tax, so $26 for these films here. Cannot wait to definitely be checking these out a lot, a lot more. Going to be watching Forever My Girl in February because I haven't seen that film since theaters. So I cannot wait to rewatch that one and I definitely remember enjoying it. Stay tuned, guys, because I got a lot of reviews coming your way. I got a lot of Christmas. I got some Netflix and I got a ranking video coming up. So I will see all of you guys next time.